Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a class called Core, Apps and Waistline and we're gonna incorporate conventional and unconventional exercises that are yoga inspired and fitness inspired in one beautiful flowy heat. The heat portion of this workout is going to be 16 minutes, so a longer one with a few vacuums at the end because after all we want really we want results we want a good tight waistline that is healthy and a good gut functioning gut so this is part of good gut health is obviously having nice functioning muscles and fascia so we're gonna do a little bit of as i mentioned unconventional some conventional exercises it's going to be fun and remember to flow with strength and ease Starting in plank. Spread the fingers open, pull the belly in and we're going to reach side to side. One, two, three. Hips are twisting. We're going to stay in plank. The next exercise is going to be first the right side. Step the right foot in, right arm up, twist. Plank. And again, twist and move as fast as you can. You can help your leg with your hand. It really tones the core. Use your core when you're stepping in. Twist and really empty the lungs I love this one I used it a lot after my pregnancy to bring everything back in which seemed almost like an impossible task opposite side left arm you can really work on tightening the tissue Works on the connective tissue. Okay, good. Coming up, straight back, plie. So take plie. There is a surprise here. Lift your heels. Reach to the side and move side to side. Drop the heels, move side to side. So the legs are not moving, the hips are not moving, just the upper body reaching. Channel your inner belly dancer. Lift the heels side to side. Drop the heels side to side. Really working on this. Again, very good after pregnancy. Once you're cleared to work out. Toe touches on the back, lay back down and we're gonna touch right hand to left opposite. Really pull the belly. You can keep your feet off the floor if you want it to be real hard, but make sure then to keep your lower back down. Step at the back of your mat. We're gonna step forward, twist, step it back, 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 twist, focus. Okay. 
opposite side. You see the intensity is slightly lower, that's why the workout is a little longer, but it's real focused. <sighs> Nothing better than twist for the <sighs> waistline. <sighs> okay, second best is twist, the first best is vacuums. <sighs> I stand corrected. Focus on your balance. This is really a good opportunity to improve your balance, which is a good predictor of longevity. Okay, this one, you're gonna hate it. Jump lunges. So switch jump, hands over the head and twist. Jump, twist, jump. Again, this is for the waistline. Corset, elongate, extend the tailbone down. Yeah. Round one is done, and we're starting in plank again. Twisting. Pull the belly in, feel it. Stay in plank or have plank accessible. Is we're gonna do the step ins to twist. Right leg leading. Really feel the twist. When you reach, feel it. I really love this one. It's one of my favorites. It is part of some of my postpartum classes. Rest and prepare for the opposite side. Really feel your core as you're stepping in. It's a good opportunity to use movement in a conscious way. You can circle the arm out. Take your plie. Let's reach side to side. Lift. Lower. Waist trimmers. Feel your core. Okay. And toe touches. Lay back on your back. Pull the belly in. Contract the belly as you come up. Really flex. Standing at the back of the mat, starting with the right leg, twist and back. When you step in, core engaged, exhale, soften the belly. 
keep the chest open and the shoulders down this is a functional movement as I mentioned <sighs> maintaining our balance is a predictor of longevity health not just physical but mental health <sighs> and also think of it as emotional balance because everything translates in every in each layer so the, working on physical balance can help with emotional balance, stability. We're gonna do the jump lunges. So an easier variation is to stack them. A hard is to take them a little wider and reach. Extend the tailbone, reach so that you're stretching the hip flexors, which can give you really nice core rather than contracted core which can happen with crunches if people only do crunches and no stretching they can have nice abs but not a nice strong core or posture all right back to the top sorry for being chatty today twist planks Pull the belly in. Oh. Step in with a twist. Use your core. Keep the back wide, the core engaged. Slow it down if you want to. Opposite side. This is low intensity, yet it is challenging in other ways. <laughs> Muscular connection. <sighs> Feel the core as you twist. Very good. Plie. Take a nice plie. You can lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. Toe touches on the back. This is one of the traditional hub exercises. All these the unconventional poses here are very important and they will not be present in a non-yoga base session so this is a valuable workout nice. 
and lunge twist, step at the back. Focus on smooth, one smooth move. You can create that with your mind. This requires moderate balance, <laughs> not beginner balance, <sighs> but beginners can work towards it. I think it's more important than strength. Balance is very important. <sighs> Opposite sides. And we will finish with the jump twists with the reach. Our timer is gonna go off, but we're gonna finish with it. Complete. Let's go. One, stretch. Two, stretch. Three, stretch. Four, stretch. Lengthen. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. As I promised, we'll finish with vacuums. Feel free to do vacuums on a wall. It tends to be a little easier if you fold forward. I like them with hands on the knees. Catch your breath. And as you exhale, hollow the belly. Four more. Two more. <laughs> Last one. Very good. Vacuums, stomach vacuums are proven to really reduce the waistline without affecting the weight. So you can keep the same weight, but reduce the waistline because it tones the tissues, the internal organs, the connective tissue, and they help with digestion and better breathing. They can balance the hormones or help in that regard. So they're probably one of the most important exercises out there really not practiced enough for how amazing they are but anyways i think this class is something you can come back to whenever you need to really strengthen the core and i'll see you with our next class if you're not on my membership come on over join it we're doing monthly programs that are a lot of fun total body workouts this the month of may so total body bikini program it's a lot of fun total body classes full body classes just and also we're including mudras so the mind is also we're including total body and mind so it is very yoga holistic approach to yoga and fitness so i'll see you either on here or on my website or both whatever you want and thank you for joining me today and let me know how you like this class namaste Remember to flow through your day with strength and ease.